Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Drake. I'm here at the Drake Center with Moki today, and uh, Nicole's going to help me come up with some questions that you guys may have about uh, uh, what to do if your pet ate something poisonous. So, Dr. Drake, what do I do if my pet eats something poisonous? So, first of all, don't panic. Um, we do see a lot of toxicities in the practice, and that's because dogs mostly like to eat things that they shouldn't eat. So, some of the really common things that dogs will get into are medications, um, their own medications, or uh, human medications accidentally. You wonder why a dog would, would chew open a bottle of uh, pills and eat them, but they actually do. I had one dog ate like six different types of medications one time. It was kind of a disaster. Um, but the good is for, even for that person was the most important thing to do is to call us immediately um, make sure you grab the vials and uh, let us know your, as you're coming in but you want to get in to uh, the veterinary hospital as soon as possible and the reason for that is we, if we can get them um, out of the stomach then there's going to be less absorption of whatever it is that the, that the toxin is so super important that we just that you just get in someplace as soon as possible stay calm so you don't have an accident on your way here but please make sure you bring the medicine or the poison in along with you um, so that we can know uh, what it is that they've been exposed to and can make a plan quickly. Who should I call first if my pet eats something poisonous? Yeah, go ahead and call us first and just let us know you're on the way. And we actually, uh, we get, this happens just on a daily basis. The tech, the receptions will come and tell the doctors have an urgent care coming in. It's a dog that ate blah, 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 whatever it is that the, that the clients that they ate. And so we're able to uh, get everything set up and ready to go, whether it's IVs we're gonna start, you know, usually quite often it's we're starting with uh, inducing vomiting um, in the dog to get that out of their stomach and may follow with, you know, critical care um, and or like uh, maybe um, some type of absorptive material that we're going to pass the stomach to and get that going also. So it really depends on what the poison is, uh, but most important is just to get here quickly. What items are poisonous to my pet? Um, well, certainly any kind of uh, medicine would be considered poison um, for sure. And uh, then all, there's all kinds of, you know, things that are poisons to animals outside like rats and um, gophers and things, those are meant to be something that's enticing for those animals and so it's also enticing for a dog to eat. So dogs will all eat rat poison. Um, so certainly anything like that that's in the garden shed or if they have a you know one of those containers and somehow the dog got it open, um, for sure those are all poisons, medicines of any kind, and then household cleaners or, you know, I know you think it'd be strange that, that a dog would eat some of these things, but they do eat the strangest things. All right, last question. What signs would my pet display if they had eaten something that was poisonous? Unfortunately, quite often when the initial uh, ingestion occurs, they may not show any signs at all. So probably they won't show any signs. So, um, so anyway, they may not show anything until the poison you know, gets into the system um, and creates a, a significant problem. So there's anything from like burning the esophagus on the way down, you know, if it's a, something that's uh, abrasive, um, versus you know a medication that we may not see like kidney failure for like two or three days so it really does depend on what it is that they ingested also just want to bring up the fact that we are seeing tons of toxicities of marijuana um, because I think it's since it's been legalized it's in a lot more things a lot more um, products outside uh, like edibles and things uh, and, and just it's more available or more more people have it. I don't know why exactly, um, why we're seeing so much more of that, but this is a poison to your dog and they will ingest a lot of it because they like every part of the plant and certainly anything that's inedible. Not to mention some of them even have xylitol in them. So xylitol, which is an artificial sweetener, is extremely toxic to dogs. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things that are toxic. Plants material that, that is in your yard. Some of those, like pretty most, most plants will make them at least upset GI wise um, and then there are a few that are super toxic that we need to address quickly so um, anything that they eat that's not their food or something you know as a treat that you're concerned about give us a call.